Welcome back everyone. It's a week until Christmas. Paul and I are gearing up for a nor'easter tonight, um, which is like this big giant snowstorm that's supposed to be coming through. So I'm super excited to share this time with you. I just want to introduce us. My name is Emmy, my husband is Paul, and we are an early retirement couple living in the state of New York. So we are so happy you are here. I just want to encourage you, I know this year with Christmas, things are so different. It's just going to be Paul, I, and our son this year, and that's okay. All my family is healthy. We will FaceTime. We'll talk. We'll be in spirit with everyone, and I encourage you all to do the same, to be safe, and just have a wonderful Christmas. Is it actually possible with only a week left to make this week before Christmas stress-free, relaxing, and purposeful. Take every day, enjoy it. Be in the moment as we head into this wonderful week before Christmas. Just slow down, take your time, enjoy the days. I know some of you were wondering what Paul and I do tradition-wise for Christmas. I am of Italian descent, so Christmas Eve, we do a fish dinner. What we do is we take shellfish, we take clams, we take mussels, we take crab, a lobster, and we make a tomato sauce, and we put it over pasta, and that is what we eat. Uh, there's some calamad in there, um, calamari, I guess you would call it. That's in there too, so we just make like a shellfish sauce, and we put that over pasta and that is what we eat for Christmas Eve. We would usually go to church, but we're watching on TV this year. Then Christmas day, my son works part time in the evenings in the seafood department of a grocery store. And they were kind enough to give him a prime rib for Thanksgiving, which we promptly froze, and we will be eating that on Christmas Day because my husband is of English heritage. So I will make a prime rib. I will make some Yorkshire pudding. We will have, what else are we gonna have, Paul? What did you want with it? Hopefully potatoes of some yes, kind. Some kind of potato, yeah, definitely has to do some mashed potatoes. So we're just going to do an English dinner on Christmas day. We are just focusing this year truly on enjoying our time together. I know a lot of you have asked about presents, how we do presents. Presents are minimal, they really are. We exchange, Paul and I, a couple of small things. We give gifts to our son, but we literally keep it to three. I've told you that. Paul's parents, what I will do for them is once a month, starting in January, I make a full, complete meal for them. And I bring it over once a month, and I give them little cards that tell them what I'm going to be making. So let's say January is lasagna, salad, garlic bread, and brownies. And I'll make a big tray so they can freeze some of it or eat off of it for several days. Because what do they really need? And they enjoy my cooking, so every month for the 12 months, I make a meal for them. They seem to really enjoy this. So that's basically how we do our gifts and how we spend our Christmas. So I'd love to hear what you all do down below. So we're gonna go make some sausage pie. This would be an amazing addition to a light dinner in the upcoming week before Christmas. It could be used as a brunch recipe. It's so easy, so good. And I wanna share that with you now. And then I'll see you tomorrow with the snowstorm. We use Italian sausage, but I am sure you could use a breakfast sausage, you could use ham, but you're going to want about 10 ounces. So that equals three sausages for us. We've got some cut up frozen broccoli that we're going to add. We've got about a quarter cup or so of diced onion, cup of sour cream. We have four eggs, approximately a cup of grated cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you'd like. This is cheddar, Monterey Jack, Swiss, whatever you'd like, just so long as it's 
shredded, and a pie crust. It is so delicious. This has been a recipe. How long have I been making this, Paul? Oh, for years. Yeah, and it's yeah, just no, like... It's simple, it's easy. I just preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and now what I'm gonna do is, you've seen me do this before, is I take the sausage out of the casing, and basically what it becomes is just a crumbled sausage. All the three sausages have been removed from their casing, and now what I wanna do is brown them. I wanna get all the extra fat out of this. So we're just gonna be left with a lean meat at the end. So we brown this nicely, got most of the oil out. Now what I am gonna do is, remember my paper towel roll from when we were in Maine? Still using it, it's getting down to the bottom now. I am gonna drain the sausage because I don't like that grease and oil. So I will drain the sausage and then I'll wash out the pan. So by all means, you don't have to do this. This is just my own pet peeve, but I would drain the sausage. Now, there's still a ton of grease left in there and flavor. What I'll do now is add the onion, and I'm also gonna add the broccoli. We're gonna saute this all together with the sausage, just until the onions get a little translucent, just to soften them a bit. While the sausage and onions are sauteing gently, I am going to crack my four eggs. This is real comfort food. It's a pretty frugal dish too. And it makes a whole pie. So what Paul and I will do is eat off of it for a couple of days, which I love meals like that, that we can eat more than just one time. So I'm gonna give these a quick whisk. And to these eggs, you can add whatever seasonings you'd like, a little garlic. We've got the onion already in it, and we've got the broccoli, we've got the cheese, and the sausage has a very distinctive taste. So I wanna make sure we keep that. So I think I'm just gonna leave it as is, but again, add a little garlic, add whatever you'd like. To the whisk eggs, I'm gonna add about a cup of grated cheese. Mix that together. Can you hear the sausage sizzling in the background? We are in for quite, what are they saying, Paul? How much snow are we supposed to get? Uh, 10 to maybe 18 inches. Yeah, always a good time. One of the fun parts of living in New York. And then what we're going to do is just take this cup of sour cream and fold it right into our egg mixture. This would make a great light supper, a light lunch, even a breakfast. It would be perfect. <laughs> See, Dixie agrees. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this up. So this browned beautifully. And what I'm going to do is just lay this in the bottom of my pie shell. Oh, it smells so good. I always say that, don't I? Because <laughs> it does. And now I'm just going to take our egg mixture and pour it right over the top. Spread this out. I think you are going to be surprised at how this turns out. It really does come out really well. It doesn't look like much right now, but when this comes out, it is such a warm, comforting meal. Now all we have to do is put this in a 350 oven for 30 minutes. How simple was that? The pie cooked for 35 minutes. I checked it at 30, it wasn't done. But at 35, it's perfect. Beautiful. So let's cut this. This is still warm. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, well I'm gonna be honest, the first piece I cut kind of, um. I cut it and then I scooped it and it fell apart. So I am going to cut it again. A nice piece, here we go. There we go. Can you see that in there? This held together so beautifully. Look at the inside of this. It's just chock full of goodness. You will enjoy this so much, I promise. We are gonna serve it with a green tossed salad. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, we were so hungry. 
I have a salad made, honestly I do. I sat down and I was like, I'm eating this now. We said our prayer and I'm gonna, I am like ready, okay? Here we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. It is so good. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> sign off now because I wanna finish eating. You need to try this, I'm not kidding. I don't know what the sour cream does, whether it just makes it light and fluffy and the crust, everything combined, this is like a 10 plus plus plus. So I'm gonna eat now. I don't think you all have ever met our kitty Loris. He is a rescue. Look at mommy, yes. He is named after a small town in South Carolina. And there's Dixie to give lovies. They get along so well. And Loris is got extra thumbs. If you can see, it looks like Loris is wearing mittens on his feet. Show those toes. Can we see those toes? You see Loris's little thumbs? It is 5.30 the next morning and they were right. It has been snowing all night. Uh, the wind is blowing. Oh my goodness. Can you hear it? Okay. It's still very still out. There's no cars. There's nothing. I think we're still in a state of an emergency, the governor declared. But I am just standing at the doorway of my kitchen just to give you an idea. Yeah, this is winter. Ugh.